Thanks for tuning in to EDC Journeys. This is a review of the Core Essentials Black Leather Gun Belt Model X3. What's going on EDC people? And what's our journey today? Well, actually it's not about a knife. And I would love to leave these open for you to look at while I talk, but I will find a way to cut myself. So I will leave them out, but uh, I'm going to close them. Okay, today's video is actually about a belt. Yep, that's right. A belt. It's made by a company called Core Essentials, and the K, it's, uh, or the Core is spelled with a K. So it's Core Essentials, and it's coreessentials.com if you want to see any of their items. Well, they sent me this black leather gun belt, and technically it's called the Black Leather Gun Belt X3 gunmetal version, if you want to look up the exact specific one. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is just simply show you the buckle face on as if you were looking, um, well, as if you were looking down at it. So I'll, ca I'll come in from your right here. I just got to move it here. There we go. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of show you the buckle. We'll talk about everything, but just here it, here it is. I've worn it since they gave it to me. That's Some of that's dust, some of it's not, but it wouldn't be much because I literally just took it off. Okay, and you get the point at this point. I don't need to continue down. It looks like that the whole way. On the reverse side, there are measurements, which are clearly now upside down. <laughs> um, so when you, get, when you get the box, you open it, and you get a big long belt. Essentially, you cut it where you want it, and it gives you directions. You know, cut it, I think it's like four marks above what your uh, belt line is or whatever like that, something like that. It, it'll tell you it's very, very easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. I Just believe me. And then it comes with this really, so this cool buckle that you can, you slide on after you cut it. So you choose where, you, you know, you keep the fancy side of the belt intact, obviously. You cut this side at whatever measurement you come up with. And then you simply insert the belt into, and I, I wish I should have undone it for this video, but you insert the belt just like a, a, like a plug. You put down, it has this clamp right here. This is a big clamp with teeth on it, big teeth. And then it's got these two uh, actually like hex screws that go down into it and hold it just for extra support. Now, I suppose this buckle could be used on other belts that fit into it if it were the appropriate size. I'm not, you know, I'm just saying, I, that's whatever. Now, during this video, I'm going to try to insert, if I can figure out how to do it, hopefully at, at some point, relatively shortly as I'm talking right now, a picture of the, like, mechanism or the core of the belt will show up. It's a cross-cut section, uh, you know, that I basically I just went to their website and took the picture they had and, and put it up. And so if I was smart and figured it out, you are currently looking at that and hearing my voice. <laughs> um, if I'm not smart, then you're still looking at the same screen. And essentially, the belt has a core. It's, it's kind of stiff, and I will at least at the very end of the video insert the pictures I've taken myself. Kind of Fire. Oh, not there. I'm showing you the uh, Core Essentials uh, sling belt, gun belt. Four pound max, the more dressy one. I really like how you can adjust it. Like one little, I think it's like a quarter of an inch at a time, maybe even less, an eighth of an inch maybe little click so you know when you stand up and you want to adjust your jeans a little bit and just click it nonchalantly and then vice versa for taking it off or not taking it off but sitting down or or taking it off really I guess anyways that's my update on it it's pretty handy this is very awkward
<laughs> now see didn't that look easy <laughs> it's a lot easier than it looks but recording it is another story he still kind of needs two hands to say still hey this is me again sitting in my car adjusting my belt buckle so it's more comfortable when i sit what's going on guys you can see just how stiff the belt is I'm, this is my bed, and I have, these are my pants. I do have other pants on, but I put the belt on these pants, and uh, I'm just trying to show you, like, how it maintains its form. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's got a core inside of it, so it can, this particular model can carry four pounds of EDC gear, whether it be, you know, a holster for a pistol or whatever, but they also have uh you know nicer model not nicer but uh models that are able to carry heavier weight loads as well but they are thicker they're called like garrison belts and i believe they even can get to an, a three quarters of an inch thicker maybe uh in width so you got to make sure it can fit your belt loops but regardless i am going to take a look at one of those as well eventually uh but this is the one i i told them i would take a look at i'm looking at this Hmm. That's interesting. It looks like it's chipping off or something. Hmm. That's weird because I don't know what would be hitting there usually to do that. That's interesting. I don't like that. For a, for the use I've used it for, I mean, I can't think of anything that I would have done to do that to the buckle. Hmm, that's interesting. Anyways, I do like the belt. Here's how you undo it. There's on the bottom, you know, if you were standing, this would be on your right side down the bottom of the buckle. Press this lever. And it loosens up just like a zip tie, or not like the opposite of a zip tie. And then to tighten it, it is like a zip tie, where it goes through this buckle system, and you can hear the ratcheting. I know it's very dark, sorry. But those are the little ratchets, and uh, they just go like that. But, anyways, I really did do like the belt. Uh, what I really like about this belt is that uh, it's fashionable. You know, it's black leather. It basically kind of goes with anything. Gun metal, which I assume refers more to the color than anything. It's kind of that pewterish color. Uh, is fashionable with pretty much any color. And of course I love, and you're looking at this right now, this lever right here is how you release the belt or, or you know, to undo it. So my... I kind of hard to explain uh my feet would be no how, how should i explain this my body would be up here my stomach would be here the belt and the rest of my body i'm just trying to orient where i am here so to you to release the belt you push this level level lever and very simply pull the belt but to tighten it up, you can do it just one quarter inch at a time. Each snap is a quarter inch, so you don't have to do much. You can, and it takes just a little, just like a zip tie. And I really like that because there's a lot of times throughout the day where I'm like, you know, I mean, I think a lot of people have this sensation. You eat lunch and you're like, ugh, and you're sitting there and you want to undo it just a little bit. But no one's going to stand up and undo a belt buckle and go down a hole in the middle of a restaurant. I, I At least I wouldn't. But it's very nonchalant to just go, you know, I, well, of course it's a 
very difficult thing to show you, but uh, you know now it's oriented as if it, this is me looking down at it. Uh, I'm in a restaurant and I want to just loosen it up a little bit. All I have to do is push the lever and, and just gently pull it out a little bit. No one hears anything. The only noise is when you tighten. And frankly, it, it's not anything that was anything anyone noticed or anything like that. Um, as far as like noise or whatever. And when you release, it's silent. So, you know, no one has to know when you ate too many ravioli at Olive Garden or something. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. As far as the features go, this particular one, the X3, le the, the leather, what is the technical? The black leather gun belt in, uh, X3 in gun metal. Uh, by the way, it's fifty four ninety five right now on their website. You know, that's... By the way, you probably hear my daughter yelling and playing her video games in the background. Uh, but regardless of that, it's fifty four ninety five on there, or fifty four or fifty nine. I think it's fifty nine ninety five. So six, eight, it's sixty bucks. The belt is sixty bucks. Okay. Plus, I'm sure they have tax and shipping. Um, I just wanted to get the price out of the way before I continued, in case I forgot. Uh, okay, where I where was I here? Yes, I magically jumped ahead in time. I was ref uh, discussing the buckle and how it's silent to reverse and uh, zip zip back in is not, but it does. You know, it has no effect. It's not like anyone notices it or anything. And what, usually, when I'm zipping up my belt, frankly, I, I don't care. Uh, it's usually when I'm standing up from something or whatever. It's definitely not noticeable. Now, onto onto the features. That's what's important. This particular belt, the, the black leather gun belt in X3 gunmetal, can hold about four pounds. Meaning, let's get down to what that means. Uh, essentially, um, say you're an FBI agent, a detective, law enforcement of any kind where you're dressing up and carrying a pistol, or a civilian of any kind where you're wearing a fashionable belt and carrying a pistol or a sidearm. That's basically what this belt is for. It's made to carry that. It has a core inside. Oh, there's the zip system, by the way. You can see exactly how the belt clicks. It's just like a zip tie. No, you know, the same technology, basically, except for you can actually go the other way. Um, yeah, so it has a core, and this particular one is rated to, to four pounds. I'm sure it could hold a little more than that, but that's what they say it, it is rated to, which if that's what you have and you're getting a, you know, you're carrying a, a sidearm, that should be fine. Um, and they do have several other belts to choose from, including, oops, you just saw my microphone wire, uh, including um, like garrison belts that are thicker, but can carry far more weight. I think even up to 10 pounds maybe. So, th so there's, there's plenty of options on their website. They also dabble, they're, they're in sunglasses and wallets and carbon fiber. So, Let's talk about uh, my experience with this belt. Essentially, I like the belt. Um, I'm going to continue to use it. Uh, it's a great belt regardless of whether you're carrying or not. It's not like it's any discomfort to wear it, even though you can see the kind of retention it has. And you'll see photos, or at least one photo, maybe a video I think I have, at the end where I can show this far better than I can on this little tiny screen. Um, but you can see that it holds its, its roundness basically because of that core that supports the weight. Um, but that doesn't really bother me at this size. I think it would at a, at a wider size, but not this size. Um, and having a belt that's capable of being able to carry a sidearm, especially living in a, being somebody who has them and being in a state where I can carry them, excuse me, sorry, hit the camera, it's not a bad thing to have one that is capable of doing that, even though it's not something I do typically myself on a daily basis. There are lots who do. I love the leather. I think it's very fashionable. The company itself was a pleasure to work with, and everyone I spoke to there was very kind. No complaints. Here's my one and only negative that I'm going to point out. Look at the buckle closely. 
And I've had this for, I, I don't know the actual day. I should have looked it, in, looked it up to tell you the exact time frame, but I want to say about a month, um, relatively. Could I be wrong? Yes. <laughs> it could have been three weeks. I, I don't know. But just look at the wear on that. It certainly wasn't more than a month. Let's put it that way. Okay. Now, I'll try to dust away what's just, you know, fabric or dust or whatever, but can you see the damage here? And it's not like I'm some, you know, hardcore guy that's out there doing all this stuff, scraping against walls and stuff. I'm a stay-at-home dad right now. So, you know, for this buckle to already have taken that much damage, that's the one thing that kind of bugs me a little bit. Is it noticeable? Not really. You know, when it's down on your buckle, does anyone really notice that from here even? No. But it's just something I want to point out to you because I do honest reviews. Pretty much every other aspect about this belt is top grade. The buckle, the clamp system with the screws, the core technology, even the leather itself, the mechanism, um, the comfort, the, cost, the company, the customer service, everything about it, the price point. Th and then, then I think about that again. I go back to the price point and say, 60 bucks. How much would you pay for this at, you know, back at JCPenney's? Well, you wouldn't get a gun carrying belt at JCPenney's, but, so that's something to take into consideration, too. Is six, at $60, you know, do I care about this? Or do you? Is $60 a lot? That's up to you. I'm just reporting my experience with the belt. Beyond the cosmetics of the buckle, everything else was great, including my interactions with the business. That's the what I want to make out clear. Of three because I've got to knock them for the belt buckle being be, being worn that easily, right? I can't I can't just let that go. But every other aspect was perfect. So, CoreEssentials.com. I have not experienced any of the other products yet. This is only for the belt and belt buckle that I have. Maybe there was some minor defect with it. It did come in great condition though, and that wear did happen in that amount of time. So, um, but everything else is great. Oh, and there is this really cool hanger system, which again, once again, if I'm smart, that picture will pop up magically pretty shortly here. And you'll see, for, and this is from their website. Once again, no credit taken. I couldn't iron my clothes as well as these people. Um, th they come with a belt hanger, which is cool because you don't, you know, sometimes you have two belts, three belts. Some people have several, but it's really cool that you can, it actually comes with something that fits the zip tie, like it, it works to, to hang that belt up. Anyways, that's my review of the belt from the time I've gotten it until now. I am going to continue to wear it. I will update you at some point in the distant future. Uh, and I look forward to looking with Core Essentials. Great. So take that for what it is, guys. That's my review. And uh, I hope if you enjoyed it, if you like them, go see them. I'll link them down below at some point when I remember. <laughs> um, but it's coreessentials.com, but the, it's with a K. So K-O-R-E. E S S E N T I A L S dot com. And I hope I spelt that right. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. It's going to be about knives. Can't wait to do it. Okay. I'm so happy to be back. I feel so much better. I can't wait. I have so much content to put out. You guys are going to be stunned. Thanks for watching my review of the Core Essentials X3 black leather gun belt. These are some stickers of some of the other YouTube channels who have inspired me in the past. Have a great day.